I'm sure most of you have heard of what has transpired within the past 72 hours in regards to Firefox's user data privacy policy or privacy policy. To make a long story short, Firefox has decided that they are going to start selling user data. In this video, I'm going to show you how to completely remove Firefox, or for that matter, Chrome, Chromium as well, if you, if you wish to do so. Um, and I'm going to show you how to install LibreWolf Browser, which has the same functionality as Firefox, but respect your privacy or privacy. LibreWolf is a fork of Firefox. And to the people at the Mozilla Foundation who have decided to sell user data, may Taylor Swift cast your soul to Cleveland or Detroit, whichever comes first. And in case you're curious, yes, I am desktop remoting into my Raspberry Pi via Tiger VNC from my Mac because the OBS Studio recording is better on the Mac. So... You're going to issue the command sudo app purge firefox enter yes now if the terminal logs out that there are related unused packages associated with Firefox, then you can run the sudo app auto remove and it, and it will remove the unused associated uh, Firefox packages for you. Now I have a Raspberry Pi model 4B. If you have an older model than mine, or if your Raspberry Pi was issued to you from some sort of institution like university, school, or your employer, you might have the Firefox ESR version installed. This version is the extended life, uh, extended service life version, whereby uh, the whereby Firefox will continue to release security updates or some other nefarious updates longer than the end of the service life when there is a new version of Firefox that old version will be continued to be serviced much longer right so that the institution admin system admin will have to spend a lot of time constantly updating Firefox okay if that is the case then you want to issue the command sudo app get purge firefox.esr and you will be walked through the same process now let's install LibreWolf. As you can see here, I've, I have already installed LibreWolf on my machine, but we're going to go through the process. So from the top menu, you're going to go to Accessories and Pi Apps. Now, if, you, if this is your first day with Raspberry Pi and you do not have the Pi Apps installed already by default, then issue, issue this command here to wget the Pi apps for you. I will, of course, have all the command in the description of the video. Okay, so from Pi apps, you're going to go to Internet, Browsers, and then choose LibreWolf. Now, if you do not, if you want privacy, but you don't necessarily in love with uh, Firefox, then there are other good ones that respect your privacy that you can choose from as well. Okay, but if you like um, LibreWolf, you do like Firefox, and you want the same look and feel, then choose LibreWolf. And when you click on this, it'll just essentially run a script for you. Now, of course, you can um, you run the script yourself, right? And it shows you how here, uh, but um, we just let the UI do the work for you, okay? Now, if you wish to import your bookmarks and your favorite sites from other browsers, 
it's very very easy to do in LibreWolf. It works exactly the same as any other browser. Um, you would import from whatever you just download from the source browser. That's an HTML file or as a JSON file, and then you would just import it in LibreWolf. Very standard stuff. Nothing too um, complicated at all. Okay. Um, Unfortunately, this has transpired, so we have to do whatever we have to do to protect our privacy and our data. If this is not an issue for you, then please continue using Firefox. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.